So this is problem 2341, where you have to look um, at a set of field lines and figure out some things about the problem from the field lines. So in the problem, uh, it says 2341. It says you have a charge uh, Q2 on top and a charge Q1 on bottom. And it draws field lines that look something like this. You have a couple kind of going like that. And then two more that uh, come around to the edge, kind of like that. And then uh, two more come from the sides and kind of come all the way around like that. And then the top field has quite a few more that never quite make it back. Let's see. Oh, six more. Three, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that many more. And these are all going out. Okay. So it draws this uh, field diagram and then asks you two questions. The first one, the first question is determine the ratio Q1 to Q2. So the ratio of the charges Q1 over Q2. What is it? So there's no numbers anywhere, right? This is not a problem uh, that you do with math. This is one you do based on field lines. So one thing you want to remember about field lines, when we draw field lines, the uh, two things to remember. One is that the strength of the field is the number of lines per unit area. So if I put a perpendicular square in here, I can measure the field by counting field lines in different places. The other thing you remember is if two charges are sort of the same size, they have the same area on their surface, and the number of field lines we draw is proportional to their charge. So for this one, you know that the ratio of the charges will be proportional to the number of lines that terminate on the charge. So here Q1 uh, ends with uh, six lines, six, and this one ends in 18 lines. There were six that came to here, there were six here and six there, so that's 18. So that's uh, one-third, but then if you really want the ratio, Q1 to Q2, you've got to get the sign right as well. well. We know that one of these is positive and one is negative because the lines are flowing from one to the other. So we know it's going to be minus one-third. That's the real answer. So the minus sign uh, would be somewhere here. So minus one-third is the answer to uh, part A. And for part B, the question is, what are the signs of Q1 and Q2? So which one is positive and which one is negative? So you get that from the arrow. You look at that, and remember those are the field lines. They go the same direction as the field vectors. The field vectors for the E field, you know, are going to be the same direction as the force of on a positive test charge. Okay. So if I were to put a little positive test charge right here, Q, what does that tell you? That little positive test charge, um, Q, must fly this direction because there's the arrowhead. It must go this way, meaning it's being repelled by Q2. It's being repelled by Q2. Q2 must be positive. So Q2 is positive, and Q1, therefore, must be negative, because the lines are going to Q1. And that's it.